Okay, so now at this point, I wanna make a comparison. In fact, we're gonna take a look, we're gonna listen actually, to first the, uh, I'm not gonna tell you in which order, okay? This is gonna be almost like a blind test, but I do wanna tell you what are the three files, three audio uh, clips we're gonna hear. One is gonna be the CD version of, let's pick, I would say Roxanne, okay? Of Outlados de Amor. As you can see, this is a very, one of the first uh, editions on CD of this album, fantastic album of The Police. Another clip is going to be the Super Audio CD. So we're going to go even at higher frequencies, okay? I mean, every, what, what was on the tape is also here on the original master tapes. And the third clip is going to be the VHS. Okay, so now we're going to listen at these three clips. I'm not going to tell you in which order, only afterwards. So try and guess. Try and write down what you think clip one is, what you think clip two is, and what you think clip three is. And afterwards, I will tell you which is which. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, did you guess which is which? Maybe it's kind of difficult. You weren't expecting these three results? Okay, so, if you've guessed, if you've written down what you think what it was what, what was which, let's see the orders. Remember that you can download in high resolution the files here below in the video description if you want to do an optimal comparison. Okay, let's start. So, track number one was the CD version, okay? Proceeding, track number two was the VHS. Oh yeah. And it was the VHS with the Super Audio CD version on it, okay? Because obviously I had to choose one or the other and I decided the best. And the third, as you can imagine, is the Super Audio CD. So if we take a look at the charts, first for the CD, version, you can see that 
more or less don't look at the dynamic range okay because obviously we had different levels in recording so just look at the frequency response the one on the vhs and the normal cd which obviously were both ripped at the maximum possible resolution 192 kilohertz per 24 bits you can see that the frequency response is very similar again if we take a look at the super audio cd again we can see a uh, very common characteristics of these of the frequency response of the specs of the profile okay guys so what do you think what are your thoughts please leave your your thoughts in the comments and also please remind yourself that we're talking about vhs tape so, apart from the measurements what do you think about the overall sonic results as i said check the download files downloadable files in the video description and you'll have a better comparison for one whole minute uh, here i only had uh, the, the chance to put a, a few seconds for uh, copyright issues okay guys okay guys now that we got a little more acquainted with this medium with the quality of this tape i just want to spend a few words on the different types of tape because obviously not all tapes are good i mean there's lots and lots of crapola out there so i'm going to show you the best overall tapes obviously good excellent for high quality video but as you can imagine very good for high quality audio so i'm going to show uh, a, a few of the the really top possible available obviously they're all new old stock you have to find them on ebay and other th places like that as you can imagine vhs tape vhs tape is not produced anymore or i'm i'm, I'm sure somebody does but it doesn't have the quality of the 80s and 90s okay so let's start with who invented uh, vhs jvc i'm going to show you these before i even open them okay and in a subsequent video i'm going to do a comparison among all of these so this is one of the best if not the best types of tape of jvc uh, as you can see the xg always try to do not go over 120 minutes and obviously record sp do not go the, the the for the super long play the or the long play lp or lspl otherwise you're gonna completely degrade the sound okay always use the normal standard to uh velocity of the tape in order to have 120 minutes and do not go over this because obviously you can have three or four hours of, of uh on tape but then the film starts to become too thin and it's and it's not that that not that good plus uh, i just wanted to say i just wanted to mention that something i thought as well but eric uh did uh did help me on this that a lot of people say that um unfortunately the mm, the, the the drum the rotary drum does consume after a while it just it, get, it gets worn out as well as the tape due to this high velocity his high speed but that's not true because there is a little small tiny space of air between because the 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 the, the, the head is the heads are capable of reading they don't need full contact so at that point we have an, an optimal solution because there's no wear of the heads and no wear of the tape fantastic okay so this is one of the best models of jvc as i said let's go ahead we're gonna start now with one of my favorite as you can imagine tdk tdk made excellent quality tapes this is one of the best the hp pro as you can see almost all of these ha are super vhs which i mean the formulation the quality of the oxide see master quality professional this is also excellent very good the top quality for video as i said before but as you can imagine also for audio but the best of the best for tdk is this one the xp super pro this is the best of the best and i think this is probably the best tape of all but we're going to do a comparison and see and check more in detail because i only tried a few ones i i was based up until now to only a few types of tapes but i want to expand my knowledge and i want to bring you along so again this is one of the best here you have all the specs if you want in order to understand better what's happening here tdk another great brand which was very famous in the past is 3m um 
as you can see also this whenever you see master bro broadcast master these terms mean high high quality this is only 60 minutes again super vhs and as you can imagine this is also very good for audio okay so the downside obviously of this is that you can't bring it bring it elsewhere i mean nobody else has va a va vcr at home certainly you can't listen it at in the, in your car or out and about so you can listen only at home so that's that's the big downside of this another excellent brand as you can imagine also in audio as well as in videotape is maxell yes this is xl hi-fi as you can see a lot of brands start writing hi-fi at a certain point which means that that's a good tape capable of um accepting that high quality type of signal in the center of the tape see ideal for hi-fi vcrs so this is one of the best types of tape for maxell the xl hi-fi there are also even better ones, uh, um, but this is pretty good. Another one by Maxell is also this type. When you see these high quality uh, cases, you you already know this is for broadcast, is for high quality production. As you see, Maxell Professional, this is a professional line. Here's the logo of the Super VHS. As you can see, uh, it also tells you in which kind of format, because in America, we had the NTSC in Europe, the PAL, PAL, or second. So according to those, you have uh, 42 minutes for the first one, 60 for the seven. But I mean, don't worry. I mean, the, 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 there's so many and they're cheap. So who cares about that? As you can see, again, broadcast quality cassette. <clears throat> there are a lot of formulations. We're going to go a little more in depth in this other video in the future. As you can see, black magnetite. We have all these strange and i don't know kind of almost fake terms that was also introduced in cassettes so you might be familiar with those last but not least a very high quality fuji double coating h471s master quality as you can see all these are very very good and as you can imagine the audio quality is even better than the one we heard before in the beginning so okay guys Remember, we're going to do another video on the types of, of these types of tapes we've we, we seen earlier to have a comparison and see truly which is the one recording different things on, on them. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope you're going to share it. Please share it because if you don't share these things, the, we're not going to grow. The subscri subscriptions are not going to grow. The channel is always going to remain small. Instead, if you... <coughs> Uh, somehow send out your love and post it other in other places a lot of people are going to join in and things are going to be better for everyone so again please post your comments here below if you have extreme quality tapes you want to suggest if you ever tried to do this type of recording with vcr what's your experience and remember music was born analog